I've got a lot of friends at the moment who are having issues with their backs, back issues. Uh, and I myself, for one, have had issues with my body the last couple of years where injuries that I've had that have compounded over time due to the nature of the body's intelligence, whenever I've ever I've had a fall or whenever I've gone into a contact sport, not recently, but over the years, uh, I always, if I was playing rugby or playing rugby league or playing cricket or tennis or any contact, any sport that was not contact, any sport that was contact sport, like, right, like a rugby game or a soccer game, or basketball, which is, you know, to an extent, is still a very much contact sport, or any form of contact at all, martial arts, a fall somehow, if I fell over some, some way, my body would, would, would move in a way that I only became acutely aware of at the end of last year, my body would move in a way that it would, the brunt of the impact, if I fell, would be on a certain part of my body, that over the years I had compounded the, um, the, the impacts on that particular part of the body, in this case my left shoulder and my left side of my body, which is what I lead with when I go into a tackle playing rugby or rugby union, or I, I, my predominantly strong arm when I throw a ball or kick a ball with my left side, even though I'm ambidextrous, I can, I can throw with both hands, my stronger side and my left hand side. So uh, that, due to the nature of that experience where I compacted and, and had the impact and my body intelligence would always, if I fell, I'd fall on my left hand side to take the brunt of the impact rather than my right hand side. Like last year I had a slip on a step in July in Wellington and landed, I spun in midair like a cat. I had, didn't remember this until I actually after a uh, contact care treatment with a guy called Greg Jamison on the Capital Coast of near, near Wellington. I remembered it while he was working on my left shoulder when it popped. My left shoulder actually lifted up and popped by itself involuntarily while he was working on it. And I had experienced a lot of pain in the left hand side of my body, down my shoulder, down the back of my back of my trapezius, down my, from my collarbone, deltoid down the back of my back was all, and my, down my arm here, from my shoulder down to my arm, bicep, tricep, down my arm. Had had this had this pain that would not go away and would keep coming back and inflaming. About two years, I had acupuncture for it to relieve the pain, but it still kept coming back. And I was wondering if I was sleeping on it a certain way. Uh, I wasn't sure. Then I had this fall last year in July, and I landed on that side of my body to take the impact, and my body literally spun in the air, me remembering this, and landed on that side of the body. And by landing on that side of the body, which had taken most of the impacts over the years due to sport, playing sport, contact sport, and other injuries, the the brunt of the impact didn't hurt so much because I'd fallen there so often, but it still hurt, right? But the body's intelligence, it knew which way to move in order to take the impact. And now as I'm going through this process of contact care with Greg Jamison and going and breaking down my flinch locks on my body and the tension in my bones, my, my the layers of the onion of the impacts and of the trauma on my, on my body are beginning to unpack. As I unpack them, I'm discovering more and more layers of injuries and impacts on my body and various parts of my body. As I'm removing those blocks in my body, I feel as though, and this might sound completely woo-woo and esoteric, but it's true for me and for various people who I'll mention in this video, that the more I'm doing the work here to release the, to remove the blocks in my body, whether that be the, through an injury, nature of an injury, musculature or skeletal, energetic, the more I remove these blocks, the more I'm able to bring in activations as you move through the ascending duatha cycle. And those activations come into my body and are able to freely embody themselves and anchor themselves into my body because the blocks in my body that I had before have been removed. And therefore, I'm not experiencing the pain that I had last year, the back pain especially, waking up in the morning often with a seized up back without any memory of actually twisting or turning in bed or any injury before I went to bed or any pain before I went to bed. Waking up in the morning with a back that was like, a lower back that was like tight, seized tight. My, my, my groin and my, lower, my legs were also incredibly sore as well. And I had gone to bed fine the night before. And this tension had arisen in me, and I really felt like on some level there had been downloads while I was sleeping. 
uh, activations while I was sleeping in my body energetically and my body had these blocks in it so the energy could not flow through my body seamlessly, anchor itself and actually um, become embodied and also assimilate with my actual physical physical body in this oscillation in the oscillations of the actual body because realistically the body's not physical, we know that, right? It's an oscillation, it's a field of oscill it's an oscillating field of energy. But there are blocks in that energetic field, right, that are more dense as you come into the physical body, they become more and more dense, and those blocks cannot enable these activations that are coming in through the ascending dwarfer cycle into the body to be able to act be activated. And here's a big thing for me as well. Everyone that I know that has ha is having back issues in 2023 and 2024, everyone that I know did not have the mRNA medical procedure in 2021 or 2022. All of them are having back issues that I know. The ones that I know that are having back issues, none of them had that medical procedure. And I don't know anyone who's had that medical procedure that's having back issues at this time. And I wonder if people that have said this to me, said this, and I've researched this as well, I've written about some blogs as well, is it is the technology in that mRNA procedure, was it there to sever the body's, the oscillation, oscillating field, just to separate it from what the activations that were coming in in the ascending Dwarpa cycle for those of us who did not have the mRNA medical procedure. We have not been exposed to that technology and therefore it's not in our bodies, our oscillating fields. I wonder, it's a question, I have no answers to this, I've only got questions. Is that what's happening? The people that have had this mRNA procedure are no longer able to actually be able to attune their bodies, their frequencies, to that oscillating field, to that to the activations, and therefore the activations aren't coming into their into their fields. But if they are coming in, they're being blocked by this medical procedure. A technology that was in this medical procedure that severed their ability to be able to connect these fields as these as these activations that are coming into the body. Have they been blocked in a way that not allow, that does not allow them to be able to attune to these, and therefore they're not having the issues that some people are who've had these medical procedures. I don't know. Yeah, so um, in regards to I'm just going out of the river, I've been for a swim in the river, and the sand flies everywhere, biting me. Uh, where I am in the Anasid Valley, behind where my sister lives, on the other side of the hill, near the Anasid Valley. And someone just walked towards me as I was filming this video, so I had to stop it because she was walking directly towards me. It was kind of bizarre. She's walking her dogs, her dogs and her daughter were walking around together and they just began to walk towards me. And I had to stop the video because they wanted to talk to me and they kind of got to got to where I was sitting and turned around and walked away. <laughs> Very strange. Probably thought of somebody else. But anyway, um, so yeah, the, the, the puzzling thing for me and the most interesting thing in this, regards to this aspect of what's happening with this phenomenon the people with sore backs that I know that haven't had this particular medical procedure the one thing that that speaks to me my friend Jason Houghton who created the triple cone technology here in this part of the world the one thing that works me out and kind of what he said to me is that there's a lot of people he knows that are having this is one of his downloads and one of his, his activations and his intuitive powerful intuitive messages was that um, a lot of people are going to have back pain at this time who haven't had or not necessarily haven't had but a lot of people are going to have that back pain but in my experience the people I'm meeting with back pain are people that haven't had this particular medical procedure because they're aligned and connected to spirit to source energy and they haven't had this as I said before in another video I feel as though there's a technological basis for the powers that be, the parasite class, in their attempt to drink, to drag, to drag consciousness, oscillating consciousness in, in physical bodies, and also the paradigm energetically as a whole on a global scale, to drag back uh, the, uh, the consciousness and the cycle, the yuga cycle, to drag back a technological sense consciousness is, is rising up into the ascending dwarpa cycle to drag that consciousness back embodied in 
the entire planetary consciousness and therefore macro, micro, micro being people, drag that consciousness back into a Kali Yuga cycle by the use of technological means. And part of that process is this particular technology, this mRNA, and my perception is a question, not an answer, it's a question. Is that technology that was developed with Bill Gates' help, uh, and obviously the forces that move through him and around him, to actually bring, to use that technology to bring back, or to sever, to sever, not the delivery system, but the technology itself and what's actually in that technology, in those injectables, to break off people's connection to source energy, so they don't feel the oscillations, the act, and not, don't receive the activations. And as Jason said, when a lot of people saw back, they're having this because the activations are coming into their bodies from the sun, and with the sun, it really is a black hole, the end of a black hole. And the energies that the, the black hole on the other side of the black hole, the actual black hole itself, and this is the, the sun, our star being the end of that black hole portal, and that energy coming through that black hole is from other parts of the galaxy, and it's far or parts of the solar system, or sorry, parts of the galaxy or beyond our galaxy, and that energy from that part of the galaxy, wherever it might be, if it's near Alcyone, near the central sun of our galaxy, if you follow the work of Sri Yogeshwar, in regards to the Yuga cycles, if that portal, if the sun's, our star, the end of our portal, if the energies coming through that portal into this part of the solar system are activating the energetic bodies, the subtle bodies, the less dense bodies of people who have not had this particular medical procedure and that energy does not distinguish if you have or you hadn't had this medical procedure and it's actually doing its best to activate other people that have had this medical procedure but it's not working for them but those of us who haven't had that medical procedure those light codes those energy activations are happening to us and therefore we're having our bodies are becoming stiffer and sore because of the fact that we have not done the work energetically to heal our traumas our wounds our energetic blocks in our body and that comes that's a big picture there. That could be energetically from physical wounds. It could be trauma, wounding from uh, experiences in our lives. It could be patterns or beliefs that limit us in any way. If we haven't cleared those, cleared those, haven't healed those wounds. If we haven't uh, rejoined those breaks. If we haven't removed those blocks, as this energy comes into our bodies through the less subtle, less dense, into the more dense, right? We are having these blocks and these energies are meeting these blocks and they're causing all kinds of disruptions in our bodies physically. And that's my question, not answers. My questions are, is that what's happening for a lot of people? Are they having these horrendous injuries or injuries or horrendous experiences, painful, excuse me, experiences that often accumulate in their backs because their back is where their nervous system runs through. And also the spine is also a, a ladder energetically as well, if you consider it to be an, a, ladder, a ladder energetically for the chakra system to move, the energies to move up through. Therefore, it makes sense to me that potentially, there's hand flies everywhere here, potentially this is what's happening. And I've got more questions than answers. I'm only asking these questions because I think it's, val it's a valid question to ask. Is this what's happening to a lot of people? Are they having these activations, myself included? Like I wake up most mornings these days with sore legs and my, my calves and my Achilles region feel like stiff, like, I, like my legs are painted on, they're so stiff. And when I eventually get movement in my legs, it frees up, the, the energy frees up and it begins to move through my body and out my, through my feet. And I can feel it, I can totally feel it. I'm, I'm actually aware of the fact that the energy is moving through my body, you know, and I do practice, med I, med I meditate every day. And now I'm back into doing Qigong, Bad Wan Jin, to help to move that energy through my body and anchor it. And of course, wearing bare feet helps me to ground that energy into the Earth's planetary consciousness, into the planetary, into the planetary matrix. So yeah, I've got more questions than answers in, in regards to what's happening here. And I'm just fascinated by if this is if this, this this idea holds any water. What do you think? Thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. Mateo. I'll see you again soon.